Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the release preview channel, which is the build at 22,621.2359. Well, in this build, Windows 11 23H2 features have started to be enabled and available. Not all of them are available by default, but the others are hidden inside this build. Of course, it is not recommended to manually enable features that are still not officially enabled. This means that Windows 11 23H2 is currently partially hidden inside the release preview channel it should very soon be available fully in the release preview channel and then it should be released on the main release in this video we're going to talk about what is new what has changed and also what is fixed in this latest windows 11 insider preview build for the release preview channel and we're also going to talk about what windows 11 23h2 features are currently available in this build if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all i'm slightly going to mention some things that are fixed or changed in this build and then we're going to talk about the features that we can encounter from windows 11 23 h2 first of all this update completes the work to comply with the gb 180 30 2022 requirements basically it removes and remaps character for microsoft ub input and microsoft pine u mode input you can no longer enter character code points that are not supported all the required code points are up to date also this update introduces websites to the recommended section of start menu these websites will be personalized for you and come from your browsing history. This gives you quick access to the websites that are important to you. You can remove any website URL from the recommended section using the shortcut menu. To turn off this feature, you can go to settings, personalization and start or right click on the start menu and then click on start settings. And here you can adjust settings for all recommended content on the start menu on this settings page. And if you have this enabled on your system, you're going to notice that option here. This update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Excel. It stops responding when you try to share a file as a PDF in Microsoft Outlook. And also this update addresses an issue that affects some USB printers. Microsoft Defender stops them from printing. Also, an issue that affects sleep mode was fixed. Basically, after you zoom from sleep, a blank window appears that has the title Windows Input Experience. An issue that affects the search box tooltip was also fixed, does not appear in the correct position. And also, the search button was fixed. It disappeared when you interacted with the search box flyout. And an issue that affected application compatibility was fixed. It was related to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. Now, talking about Windows 11 23H2 features, if we go into to the settings app, you're going to notice the new settings homepage inside the release preview channel. For those of you who don't know what this is, basically the settings app has a new homepage that will have the most useful and most used settings, such as the recommended settings with the taskbar, sound pictures, cloud storage options, Microsoft account management, and also Microsoft 365 management, Bluetooth devices, and also personalized your device. With the disclaimer that the personalized your device card from here won't work if you don't have Windows 11 activated. A huge shout out to Fantasy. Motion 3 for discovering the features from Windows 11 23H2 that are currently available in the release preview channel. We also have the new phone link slider from Bluetooth and devices that you can turn on or off and if you turn it on the phone link app will automatically open. We also have the native support for additional R high formats such as 7-zip, RAR and more. We also have the new Windows backup app that you can now open and see the new design of with a lot of new options and useful things that will help you also restore older settings from older Windows installs and also certain apps in Windows can now be uninstalled such as Cortana if you search for Cortana and right click you're gonna notice that you can now uninstall it and also the camera people and photos apps can now be uninstalled in this build so as I've said these are the features from Windows 11 23 h 2 which are currently enabled by default in this build of course the others can be enabled manually but I do not recommend that until Windows 11 23 h 2 is officially released to the release preview channel so basically this is the video for today don't forget to leave a comment below stating your opinion on this build if you enjoyed this video please Please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Mario from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.